and red are of the same family, and so we feel that we meet your design standards. Thank you for your presentation, your comments, and if we have additional questions, we will certainly call on you. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks. So, do we want to have more discussion? Questions? Yes. I think this is one of our better blocks in our downtown area. Um, with the architecture and the buildings and the colors that we have there. Um, I feel that the proposal by staff um, does allow some of the RS colors into it, but then with the red on the bottom, it matches better. Um, with it being an, an earth tone building on the corner, and then two red brick buildings, um, I don't see those as being compatible on that block. And I, I'm for the proposal that what staff did at the bottom. Um, if there needs to be some tweaks to that, or um, the tan needs to come down or up, I can understand that. But I'd like to see the red in that to match um, the building right next door, and then also um, the current building that the bank is in. I, I would agree with Commissioner Burnett on the the brick. I think that the red brick is needed to tie it into the other two buildings. Since it's all within the same block. Right. If that was across the street, I would look at it differently, but it's within the same city block. Well, it's, it's one site, it's, it's one <coughs> campus. Mm -hmm. I think even the application refers to the other campus. They're sharing access, they're sharing sidewalks, they're sharing parking. Uh, and I think that uh, what staff has proposed here seems very reasonable to me, and, and quite frankly, I like it better as a campus um, when, it, when it is coherent like that. Um, and uh, even as Mr. Hawkins pointed out, the words unity and continuity are, are in those uh, design standards. And I, I believe that uh, what staff is, is requesting is, uh, is very reasonable. And uh, still at the if, if that's taken as just a guideline, obviously that's not an architectural rendering by any means, but it's, it's a guideline that I think the applicant could take and put put their touch on it and still come out with, um, uh, by all means, an RFS bank that fits on the site. Um, and, and, and put those, those touches, the, you know, the details that you see in the drawings above. I actually would rather see a tanner or the, the more tan color on that top piece and maybe not have a white, but you could have a darker tan and stuff. I think there's some things that can be done there to do give it more of an RVS look, but also have the red brick at the bottom. Right, and, and there are elements that tie these together as, as, as they're shown in the, applicant or in the uh, staff uh, uh, proposed elevation there without being without even looking like it's trying to be identical. I'm, I'm looking at the, the pitch there at the top, which in the existing building uh, comes across, I don't know what you'd call that detail, where the pitch is and it comes across. Sorry, I'm not an architect. We need to stand here. Yeah. The, the, the uh, element that comes across the bottom between it at the bottom. I can point to it here, but you guys can't see bottom of the triangle there. Yeah, yeah. Right there. yeah. exactly. Um, that's not in here. Um, it doesn't have to be. It, it, it's nice the way it is. They tie together with, with both having those peaks. That's great. 
I really like the design. I like the plan. I like the layout. I think, I think if the uh, um, if the applicant were to come back with the colors um, more in harmony than uh, like staff has recommended, and then I would be in, in agreement with it. Uh, I'm not not inclined to approve this with the light van, uh, but that would not fit in this location. I don't believe that that would be appropriate for uh, a lighted band right there. Um, and again, on the full, I don't want to see a stipulation on that. So difficult because a lot of it does come down to personal opinion, and so there's really no wrong answer. And so personally, I like the building the way it is. I think that it's complementary to to the brick. I like that it's different. I think that the earth tone with the navy is really gives it an updated look. And when I drive down Main Street and I see these two brick buildings, it's like there's a brick building, there's a brick building. They are similar. They complement one another, but I don't look at it like they go together. Like a campus, um, I just don't have a problem with the way. I like. I just like the colors. Could you pull up the overhead, the um, aerial shot at the? For instance, I mean, right across the street is the. Aren't those two buildings? One is the eye doctor, and the other is where there's like the chiropractor and stuff right there. I love what they have done with the stone. This is the uh, your left Dr. Leonard's mm -hmm. and then your Mr. Dr. Cox. Right. Building. More of a pinky color. Yeah, and then the larger one that has some stone on it. Yes. Yeah, the larger one that's on the stone. And I felt like that. I really like that look. Um, is that what you're doing with these? Can I? Are you? <clears throat> Those are two, like brick, is that a brick sample and a stone? So here are your brick, uh, brick samples here, and this is the eaves colors here. Okay. Um, and, you know, you, you brought up some elements, and that's really what we've tried to do is tie similar elements of the building to have that uh, relationship. Um, but again, I would have to agree with, uh, with your opinion, obviously, but the, this color scheme, while uh, the red, uh, is showing in that there are several other colors within the brand that once you start changing colors, it throws everything out of black. And so it's not just a simple update of red color. We would have to go in and um, change several colors. So it's really changing the brand completely. And uh, again, look, using the design guidelines for color, which is exactly what we're talking about here. We're talking about color. It says that we do not have to match exactly. And so we're following that design guideline to a T. And again, while we uh, are in the, a development, the, the elements still relate. And uh, so I'll thank you. Well, I don't, I don't disagree at all with that assessment. Uh, my feeling is looking at the two, which one is better in the development. But, um, and, and, and I could honestly go either way on the color. Um, personally, it's a fine building. I like the plan. I like what you guys have done. Um, you know, you took the recommendations that we have for tying it together with the sidewalks because it is the presented as one campus, one development, sharing the parking, sharing the access because none of them alone have enough parking. And so that, you know, we're willing and able to, to do that. That's, that's great. It's a, a wonderful use and I appreciate you guys 
have gone to the lake to get 